going to go places. Thank and you. you're going to get to the PGA. You're going to get past that. So what you have to ensure that you know is that all of those that come with us can go with us. Wow. We got to be an individual mm -hmm. and push forward. Yes, sir. Never take another step back. Yeah, and that's, and that's I tell people it. all the time. I'm, I'm giving back but going forward. That's right. That's right. And, and that's really what, you know, my mom started non and that's what we're going to base it off. That's going right. to be our mission state, giving back but going forward. That's right. Do you so, understand? Thank you. Thank okay. you. I appreciate it. I started playing golf at the age of six years old. I started in a program called the LPJ Urban Youth Golf Program. It was located in Wilmington, Delaware. That's where my family was living at that point in time. Initially, it was something just to do that my parents wanted to expose me to. Um, but it wasn't until I won a golf tournament called the Golf Channel Drive Chip and Putt. And I'll never forget my dad, he drove us all the way to, I think it was somewhere in like Virginia. And it was just, New, new for me, you know, end up winning there. Then I went all the way to Williamsport, uh, PA, where they had the Little League World Series, and I ended up winning there. And I ended up going down to Florida where the national championship was being held, and I ended up finished second at the Nationals. And the interesting thing about me finishing second was I was goofing off in the pool the night before, and I actually twisted my ankle, so I couldn't even practice the day of. But I remember I was about 12 years old, and I was flying back, and like I said before, golf wasn't something that I was really interested in. It was just something that my parents had exposed me to. I've also written children's books. I got a children's book about Morehouse College. We have another one coming out about Howard University. And I actually I'm gonna start a nonprofit. And what we're gonna focus in, we're gonna create literature on an elementary level about historically black colleges. Too often we know nothing about historically black colleges. I can say me personally, I would, you know, I attended one and graduated one, and I knew nothing about it graduating uh, growing up. I actually found it on the internet. Um, so I want to make sure that here's an opportunity that that never happens again. I have a 10 year old nephew and he knows about Morehouse. And not only does he know about it through a t-shirt, through a football or through pictures, he actually have a book that's encouraging him to read. What is he reading about? He's reading about college and not only college, but Morehouse College, which is close to my heart. And that's what we really want to do. We want to provide these kids, encourage them fun ways to read. And hopefully when they read, they'll go and, and explore the option of these institutions and figure out the wonderful great men that, and women that have graduated from these institutions. Um. How many times do you get an opportunity where the mayor personally picks the phone and says, hey, I want you to come back to your home? And not only come back to your home, but I want you to go into the community, which we did. We went into the Salvation Army. We went into Boys and Girls Club. We went into, not even, we went into LJ Playpen Academy. I mean, this is just your mom and pop's academy where they're pouring into these young kids. I went in there personally and I talked to them. I sat with them. I read books to them. And, you know, that's one of the things I try to tell people all the time. I'm just a regular guy. I've been fortunate to be blessed with a lot of opportunities. But at the end of the day, if I can do it, you can do it. And Come in here to learn. Come in here to learn. But I will exit a leader. But I will exit a leader. There you go. And that's one of the things. Very good. Today was just a wonderful day. It would be a day that I will always, always remember. Had an opportunity to come to Prestige Academy and just really impact a lot of young kids' lives. I want to thank the mayor. He showed up, Mayor Williams, for inviting me, the first year of Delaware, uh, Dr. Perry, for opening up the doors um, and just kind of giving me the first class treatment to really impact and kind of share my story. It's been a great experience. I just want to thank everyone for showing up. Um, and I really hope that, and I know that this won't be my last time back. Um, and like I was telling these kids, you know, it's a great institution and they come in here at learn. They come in here to learn, but they're going to exit a leader. And another thing quote that I left with them was dream big because dreams definitely do come true.